Well, good morning and welcome back to another video. It's a lovely Sunday morning, a lovely summer's Sunday morning here at Welford Pools Nature Reserve. Yes, I'm back here to do a video and to take photographs of this chap I'll put up on screen. And uh, last time I was here, I just happened to see him in the distance and I took a photo and I thought next time I'm here, I want to see if I can get some good video and photographs of that creature. And that, that bird is actually a, an oyster catcher. So that's what I'm here to do today. And I hope you stick around and enjoy the video and the day with me. See you in a minute. Right turn, Clyde. Yeah. Found you. Found you. Oh man, this looks even better than last time I was here. Oh, geese over there. Oh, superb. Superb, sir. Right, let's go and get set up around the other side. And I'm hoping that oyster catch is still around there. Swing you around, look at here, look. So the last time I was here, I was sat on that bench, uh, that bench there, and I was shooting over to this island over, I'll get my finger right, uh, over there, and the oyster catcher was there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here I'm going to put myself there and shoot down towards the island. I'm hoping it's still going to be there, walking about on that little island. And I know I've got geese over there as well, so yeah, let's go, let's go start walking around and um, see out when we get round there. Oh, nice colours. Lovely vibrant yellows and uh, purples around here. It says be good for butterflies and um, dragonflies around here. Might be worth taking a few shots on the way out. Because your butterflies like your deep purples. Like the deep dark colours. So lots and lots of uh, them crane flies around here. Absolutely marvellous. Anyway, let's keep walking. Well, I reckon somewhere around about here because uh, that's the island I want there, where I saw the uh, oyster catcher. I see we've got the geese coming around now. So what I'm going to do is, I've, this is a stool by the way, I got it yesterday, it's very lightweight, it weighs 400 grams, um, takes 80, 80 kilos. Well, I weigh 83 and, it's <laughs> and it still took me, so a little lightweight stool I just bought. But yeah, so I'm going to set up here. I want to stay here and see if we get that oyster catcher on that island there, because that's where I saw him last time. So any B-roll, any roll, any video you see of uh, birds from now on will be taken with the Nikon D7500 and the Sigma 100 to 400 lens. Just had a common turn to take off over there. So yeah, I want to I want to set up and see what we got. Right, let's do this. Right, I'm all set up now. Um, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to uh, put this round the zoom ring to cover this up. Don't really need it to be honest, but there you go. I'm going to be at 400 mil all day. We've got a couple of swans bowing away there with their signets as well. So 
So I'm taking I'm taking uh, B-roll footage of the birds with the with the Nikon, with the and the Sigma 100 to 400 lens, just so you can see what it's like on video. Um, it's actually not too bad to be honest with you. Right, I've just seen the bird I'm after. Excuse me a minute. Let's just have a look. That might be that. Oh man, it's him. I'm not sure though. I don't think it is. Um, plus one EV on this one, so because I'm behind the brambles and stuff. Oh, there we go. Let's, let's just take a couple of shots. Now, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just go in on that. Just have a look. Nope. Nope, that wasn't the oyster catcher. Never mind. Right, let's carry on then. So what I do is I'll put that picture up of the uh, oyster catcher again on the screen for you now. While I'm looking through this here, viewfinder. As you can see by its colour, it's very distinctive with that long bill and long legs. And I could be here all day. I mean, I've not got long. I've only got about three or four hours. And I might not see it. But it's just be one of those things, won't it? But if I get a shot of it, I'll be really happy. But I'm just scanning around the shoreline at the moment of that island. And I've got my binoculars down here. Let me just reach for them. These binoculars are my uh, Bushnell PowerView 8x32s. And uh, I've had them a while. My wife bought me these as a present. And they've lasted quite well. I keep forgetting to bring them out with me. But anyway, the signets have grown up since I was last year. They were really tiny. They're massive now. So just out there on the tree stump, I've got a Foster's Tern. And what I'm doing is I'm taking video of it at the moment on top of the uh, post. The Nikon. Well, I've been here now for a good, well, it's coming up to 10 to 12, and I've been here since what? I don't know, half past eight. It's only three and a half hours, and I've not seen, I've not seen an oyster catcher. Not one. I've seen geese and terns and swans and coots, moor hens and red crested po uh, pollards, but pochards, but I've not seen an oyster catcher. It's a shame because they were here when I was here last time and I've just not seen it. So what I'm going to do is I've made myself a brew. I'm going to finish that and I'm going to go for a, a wander around as far as I can. Um, and then call it a day, I think. It's a short video. Can't always get what you want when you come out on things like this when you're after a certain, certain species and you know you've seen them. It's uh, a bit disappointing. <laughs> Right, let's go wandering, see what we can find.
Well, I've just seen a tufted duck, a female tufted duck, and all her young, a menagerie, a, a positive menagerie of young ones. And I've just taken a video of that, of this, and a photograph. I'll pop them up on screen for you to see. Not taking many today. Took some geese flying, a couple of that uh, foster's turn on the post, but that's about it really. But what I've come out for today was the uh, oyster catcher. Nope, they're not here, they're gone. Well, they, they are here, I just can't bloody see them. They're not in the same place anyway. So wandering around this lake at the moment and um, there's lots of wildlife out there. I see, see a, a lot of species, but not ones I want. Anyway, I'll catch you later. What I'm looking at at the moment is a great crested grebe on a nest right in front of me, just on the corner of this island here, just right on the corner of it. I've taken some video on my Nikon. Just going to take a couple of shots now. So I'm shooting at um, 0.7 exposure value, one one thousandth of a second, and f7.1 auto ISO on aperture priority. Continuous high. There we go. Let's see what that. That's perfect that. Well I can't believe my luck. I've actually found oyster catchers and they're right on the end of here. I've got two, I've got the uh, a mature male and a young one, I think it's a young one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make my way further round and hope I don't spook them because I want to get them on film. So I'm going to, I might actually camo up so I've got my camo I've got my camo poncho on me, so I'm going to put that on. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, oh, there's a fence just over there, so I can't go any further than the fence. So I might just go over to that fence and uh, I'll put my camo top on. Right, let's do this. Oh, I'm chuffed to bits, I found them. So I'm taking video now, shooting in 4K 30 frames per second because it crops in a little bit more. So I'm getting extra reach for me 400. Absolutely wonderful. I've got a couple of shots off back there. I just wanted to get something in the bag just in case they went. So this is my um, poncho camo net, um, ideally. It should be, I want it completely covered over your head like that. And then you can play about with your camera underneath. Yes, you do look an idiot, but I don't care. My time of uh, what other people think of me has long since gone. But anyway, I'm enjoying this. Oh, this is wonderful. All day I've been here since 8.30 this morning and it's now 10 to 1. And I've got my wish.
And with that, they have just flown off. So it's lucky I got here when I did. There's lots of turns around here, absolutely hundreds of them. <laughs> Never seen so many. But yeah, the um, the oyster catcher ran in a, uh, went in a, a circle and it went over to the other island there, but it's on the other side of it and I can't see it. So I'm just hoping it might show its head. Which it isn't. So I'll give it another oh, half an hour and I'll think about uh, making my way am. At least I got, I, I actually got what I came to get, which is brilliant. Absolutely chuffed to bits. Well, those oyster catchers haven't come back. I think they're the other side of that island and I can't get to it at the moment because they're building whatever they're building over there for rich people. Um, and they've got a fence so you can't go around it. So what I'm gonna do is I've got, the, I've got, the, I've got what I wanted. I've got the, um, some video and some pictures of the uh, oyster catcher, which is what I came out to do. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take a couple of pictures of these uh, turns and uh, call it a day and go home. I call that a job well done. Absolutely pleased as punch I am. Well that's it for me this afternoon. I want to call it a day. It's uh, quarter to two now and I really must be getting home. So I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.